it's uh, 4.39 a.m. but clocks just changed so it really feels like 3.39 a.m. Carbs of choice this morning. As per fuel and recommendation, 100 grams of carbs. I'm a little short of that, it's like 80. Now this will get me to 100 grams. Well, uh, it's so early in the morning because I'm going to a swim squad. I realized the importance of swimming with a squad and how much more fun it makes it and how much more high quality the session is when you swim with a squad, especially when you swim with a lot of people who are faster than you and can push you. So, it's a toss up between uh, get a really good night of sleep and swim alone, or uh, wake up early and swim with a squad and get a high quality session. So I'll probably uh, switch between those two throughout the week. I don't think I'm gonna get up at 4.30 every morning. Swim was decent, uh, it's a good group. The lane I went in was a little bit too slow, but I'll go on the fast one next time. Now on my way through Pike Place to get a couple pastries and a coffee from this bakery. All right, we got our cruff in here. Coffee beans roasting. Real breakfast. I was feeling myself today. I put some wasabi on my eggs. We're on a bike ride, obviously, on the Featherweight Eclipse road bike. I'm back out here for the first time since like September, maybe. It's one of my favorite roads in the greater Seattle area. Long ish ride today, just getting volume. Feeling really insecure about my bike and run because. The last three weeks in Australia, I did almost entirely just swimming. A few rides here and there, very little running. F my arm is tired. So training now for the next eight weeks until St. George, which will be my opener, not Oceanside. We'll be still swim focused, 35 to 40K a week, but bringing back the bike and run volume. We're out here at the little store. If you're a cyclist in the Seattle area and you haven't been here, you're doing yourself a disservice. It started raining, but I have this Goreware rain jacket that packs up like this. Got a hot chocolate with some spro in it, so I guess it's a mocha. And some zingers. Dinner time. After all that sh this morning, I had to redeem myself. We got some arugula with balsamic, slow cooked chicken, slow cooked onions, rice sauteed peppers. Coach Scott from Fuelin is gonna love this. And I still have this churro cruffin waiting for me for dessert. This video is brought to you by Element. Element is the extremely tasty electrolyte drink that I use to stay on top of my hydration. As many of you know, I take in massive amounts of carbohydrate during training, sometimes over 120 grams of sugar per hour. Now that the weather is getting warmer and my high sweat rate means I sweat out over one gram of sodium every hour, carbs alone won't be enough to sustain the training, so it's super important for me to start adding Element back into my sports nutrition plan. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. There are no artificial ingredients and no sugar added, so when I put a packet of Element into my drink bottle, I'm really just getting the perfect blend of electrolytes and a little bit of flavor, which makes the whole drink taste even better. Right now, Element is offering all watchers of this video a free sample pack, so you'll get one packet of each flavor free with any Element order. Get yours using my link, drinkelement.com slash areclow. That's eight free packets available only through my link, so make sure you go to drinkelement.com slash areclow. God damn it, I didn't even notice that these were gluten-free. 
Hey, hey, proud of you. He's going blue free. Does that mean they're like low carb? That is not what I wanted. There's gluten carbs. Unfortunately, oh, it's down there. The nutrition facts are down there. Oh, we're good. 56 grams of carbs. Orange juice carbohydrate supplementation. This is fueling. I don't log my actual calories every day because it's just, it gets burdensome, but I'll, I log every bit just to make sure I'm on top of everything. So exactly 100 grams of carbs this morning. You obviously won't get it exact, you know, 10, 10, and 100, but pretty much right there on the snack. Swim. Hmm. 7,000 yards, that's 6,400 meters in the books. I did some threshold, 400s. Um, did them on five minutes for, I think the first time ever. Uh, 400s on five minutes in the yards pool. Wasn't much rest, about 10 seconds, but got her done. Now, a uh, really quick turnaround before this run workout with Alio. So it's time for a very light but very nutritious meal recommended by Coach Scott from Fuelin himself. Sardines on f toast. It's uh, Trader Joe's rosemary toast, so should be tasty. Got an avo here as well. This banana looks the same. Look at that shadow. On the way to this workout with uh, Spencer and Allie. Hey. Aller and Spency. The technical term would be Alcer you want to and just... Spenly. Alcer and Spenly, Spenly especially. Spenly. Spenly's not a name, but I think after this video goes it, up, it, it trend. Yeah, Spenly, that would be somebody's okay. name. This guy, he'll just do anything to be like Oh me. my god. <laughs> Okay, um, we're about to head out for the warm-up, but before we do that, we figured we'd have a quick beatbox. Ari, you can go first. I'll go first. I'll let you have the floor. <laughs> Everyone just pretend they don't notice, okay? Today is a speed workout, so I have 4x500, 4x400, 4x300, all with two minute rest between working from 70 pace down to like 66 pace. So, <laughs> there's a guy over there that I gave him a mic and he just can't stop now. <laughs> um, Tell us about the workout, Ali. I'm not doing anything. I'm just minding my business over here. Oh my goodness. Gonna have to read it all. Minding my goddamn business over here. <laughs> Anyways, Ari is gonna pace my workout today. We're both mic'd up. Oh, this so... is also my YouTube video, so our workout that I'm gonna pace. Yeah. For Ari's us, pacing together. Our workout. He might add on some stuff because he's a man. But uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get going. We're mic'd up, so it's cool, right? <sighs> Sixty-nine. Oh, perfect. All right, we got what? Fifteen? Yeah, yeah, ten, ten now. Started one second early on that. Get in line, please. In line. The train leaves in five seconds. enthusiast of the brand Brooks. Have you and Spencer heard of Brooks? No.
package at all. Smallish for lunch, spent her already. Destroyed. Never had a smallie before, but ate it like a burrito oh, after. Fill me up, holy honestly. This rice is good though. Well, look at this shipment from myself to myself of snacks, candy, and canned fish. I sent myself a package of uh, all of my favorite snacks from the grocery store in Australia. First up, we got shapes. I got a few different flavors. The original barbecue is what I usually went with. Um, but the Vegemite and cheese I actually thought was not that bad. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, a light flavor of Vegemite because, God, I, I just did not f with actual Vegemite. And then this chicken crimpy, which I actually never had, but I was curious. So, shapes up first. Second, of course, Tim Tams. I got an original. I got a chewy caramel, which was good. I got this Muddy River salted caramel, which... I always saw it in the grocery store and I thought it was maybe too decadent and just like, uh, you know, they're making all sorts of flavors so I didn't bother. But got that one to try it and then uh, salted caramel brownie. I guess I didn't get a double coat, which that's a mistake on my end, but Tim Tam's second. Third, <clears throat> two different flavors of pods. Maybe I should have gotten an extra bag. Oh, I sound like they may have broken a little bit in transit, but that's what you get. Uh, and fourth, Coach Scott from Fuelin, you're gonna love this. I got myself a whole bunch of canned fish. I got the John West lemon chili and garlic sardines. I uh, got also John West rosemary and sea salt sardines. The sardines, since I've been back in America, I never ate sardines, so now I'm like in the grocery store looking for them. Terrible, like they just don't have flavors like these. And these were just in every grocery store. So good. And then two of these wood smoked with chili sardines uh, just to try because they looked a little bit more bougie. I think I earned a Tim Tam after that one. Mm. All right guys, here is dinner. Chicken, same as last night. I need to get some red meat, broccolini and rice and some shallots and juices from the chicken. Plus this Virgil's root beer from Trader Joe's which has cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. So that's why I bought it. And dessert is cookie dough ice cream with Tim Tams. So, uh, it's night time. It's just about 9 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed. And, uh, the final calorie count for the day, uh, uh we'll see here on the Fuelin app, is 5,013. A little short on protein. Might have to have a bit of a protein shake. Uh, that's all outside of training. So, uh, I had 840 calories during training today. Uh, so, just under 6,000 for the day, which I'm already not training uh, quite as much as I was in Australia. That was a bit uh, crazy. So, I don't probably need to be at 7,000 every day, but 6,000 probably does the job when I'm trying to swim. Six or seven K every day, plus some biking and running. Anyway, yeah, that's the video. Uh, thanks to Element for sponsoring this video. Check out Element. We'll be back with another episode of The Australian Method next.